basically the, the 3D printer bed, the heat bed. So this is everything you're gonna need. It's gonna be the actual bed, B10, four M5 by 25 screws, two five millimeter separation columns. I think those are just uh, like nylon washers, uh, two eccentric nuts, two brass shims, large pulleys, nylon nuts, basically everything that's gonna come in a bag. So you're gonna need the actual bed frame. This is a B10 bracket. It's gonna be in the B10 location of the bottom foam. The hot bed, hardware, and of course your tools. Number eight. Number six. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is show you everything we're gonna need for this section of the build, All right? So we're actually just attaching the wheels to this awesome red anodized aluminum bed frame plate here. Don't worry about all this stuff that's not scratches, it's like glue. All you people who think they're getting some scratches, double check, make sure it's not glue. Um, you're gonna need the four brass shims, four M5 by 25s. This is, I think, an M5 by eight, if I remember right. Anyway, your four wheels, which should already be pre-set up, two nylon lock washers, your B10 bracket, and two extension nuts so I am actually really really happy with the nylon locking um, bolts there so uh, first thing we're gonna do is double check your wheels make sure they roll really nice I got two of them that roll really really nice and then I got two of them that kind of bind so I'm not sure if it's because the bearing is, is pressed in there a little bit too hard or it's because it needs lube so I got my favorite lubricant of all time that I use on builds and Rubik's cubes and stuff like that so I'm actually just gonna spray a little bit of CRC heavy-duty silicone shake it up and then we're going to work this this stuff in and now we're getting now we're getting really smooth bearings so got that one going I'm gonna do the other side one thing I do see though there's like a tiny little dent on the outer plate of the bearing so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it but no it's it's, it's now it's just it's really 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 smooth so I'm gonna do that with the other bearing that's kind of a uh, cruddy okay so just add a little bit you don't need a lot at all and I'm holding this centered part really tight and then letting the bearing spin until it just it literally goes smooth so that should be good it should be set into that bearing and it'll probably only get better over time. I know these bearings were already amazing, but might as well add the loop to them and make them beyond amazing. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I like that. So inside every bearing is a little like um, you can see it in there that silver washer. You just gotta make sure you push that and align it with an Allen wrench or something before you put the bolt through. That way it lets the bolt go through. And once you do that, the bearing actually spins really, really freely. We're gonna put the four bolts through all four bearings. That's the first step. Let me get that done here. 12 seconds later. So hopefully you didn't put your uh, your parts bag away because actually they did include spacers, but they're not nylon now. So this is gonna be really cool. I'm actually gonna put some silicone on these also. But the next step is to put all the brass washers through on all four bolts, two, three, and four. So two of them are gonna get the actual nylon, I mean, the the metal spacer and then two of them are going to get the centric nuts whoops I put these ones on backwards the weird rounded oval part actually goes facing upwards so again go back to your parts bin and get these two two more of those nylon lock washers because you are gonna need those so now we're gonna put the two that have just the actual metal spacer on the bottom and then the two with the eccentric nuts on the side that actually has the bigger holes on the bottom of the bed frame here so if you could see here these are the ones that are bigger that so those ones uh, the, that little round part here um, of the eccentric nut actually fits perfectly into that space so I'm gonna go ahead and snug it in there that's almost extremely perfect fit um, and it's not looking like like these bolts are actually going to be long enough so what we're going to need to do because you want that nylon to lock is we're going to have to put these on backwards which i don't like it'd probably be better if these washers i mean these um nuts were just a tiny bit longer so we'll just put them on for now i'm going to flip them around when i can actually get a, a wrench that fits them put the other one in there too i think it's the paint that makes it uh sit pretty snug there we go pops that little paint out snug that and then these ones, they'll just go straight through. So, then you just put the bottom two with the actual metal spacer just just underneath it. So we're going to try and tighten them down, just finger tight. Cool. So even with them snug, all these bearings, they roll extremely smooth, especially with that silicone in there. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to mount this beast right into the center there. So there's two little holes. I'm going to go ahead and just do the one first throwing one of the smaller M5s in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it around, put it in there, align it with this piece here, and then finger tighten that one, and then do the other side, and then we're gonna tighten those ones actually pretty nice and snug. So, got those. We're gonna snug these a little bit harder. So my only gripe so far now is that these bolts don't actually hit 
the nylon lock, which kind of defeats the purpose of a nylon lock unless you put it on backwards. But from what I'm looking at, the nylon lock actually might be too long, might not hit the threads in time to hit the nylon lock. So I might have to just replace these bolts with some longer ones. But for now, we'll just keep them like that. I think they'll sit just fine. If not, there's always some Loctite that you can throw in there. And that will just do the same exact thing that the nylon uh, lock would do. So if you don't want it to stay on there forever, you want to use the blue Loctite, not the red one. So there you go. There's your bed plate. And that actually rolls really, really smooth. So I'm really impressed with that. All right. So we're going to move on to the Y-axis assembly. And for now, we're just going to just add the two ends of the Y-axis. And we attach this to it, too. So here we go.